All right, guys, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, this is uh, my first video in a little while, and I think this is going to be a really cool one, actually. You're going to be able to take some things away from this and use them for the rest of your trading career. And um, so, yeah, I'm excited to show it to you. Excuse me. Um, let me start by saying that this channel now has over 450 subscribers. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, it's really cool. Uh, I would appreciate it if you guys join the Telegram group because we've got some uh, really cool people in there. And it, it, if you need to ask me any questions or talk to some of the other people, it's pretty open and it's, it's cool. I'll put a link in the description for that. And if you want to uh, get more clarity and do like any kind of one-on-one, -on -one, you know, just spend some time together and, and uh, really like get these concepts cemented in your mind we can arrange something like that as well um, that being said I want to uh, talk about Bitcoin volume because I see a lot of uh, misunderstanding or just completely ignoring volume when it comes to uh, market speculation and it is one of the most important things that you can look at I value it above any indicator because it's an actual count of how many transactions happened on the exchange at that particular time. So let me uh, go ahead and and we're going to get into exo charts just a little bit on this one as well. Um, that's kind of my specialty if you're new here, uh, but I don't go too far into it because exo charts is a very very good program, or it's actually a website. But at the end of the day. Um, it, it takes a long time to get good at exo charts, and um, yeah, that's where my edge lies for the most part. So I just I don't give a lot away, but we will be going into that a little bit today. So just uh, yeah, bear with me here. So I have another slide before I get into the screen sharing, and I titled this one with a question: What is volume? Volume is money on the table like I have described here it's when people are coming into the market and so when you get uh, volume coming into the market it allows you to make more of a 3d picture of what's going on because if you just are looking at the candles all that's really telling you is where price has been in your selected time frame so if you have an hourly chart a weekly chart monthly chart a five second chart all it's like a it's like the tail right it just shows you where price has been it doesn't really give you a good picture now it depends on how you interpret it because the more you know and the more you have in the back of your mind you can look at price action and know when volume probably came in right but that only comes after years of looking at charts um, I don't use any indicators or anything like that simply because once you've been doing this long enough it's just like anything else you can kind of do it you can kind of assume you know what's happening for the most part um, but anyways the point I'm getting at is that um, volume allows you to, to know where the important parts of the market are it allows you to know when there's money on the table because you could sit there and look at a doji candle, but if it has no volume, you can you should interpret it differently than a doji candle that has a lot of volume. And then um, you can get into exo charts and actually look at the delta of that volume, and then you can get an even more accurate photo or picture in your mind of what's likely to happen. But I'm not going to get into that here. That would be more of like a one-on-one -on -one thing. But but let's let's stick to this for now. Um, basically, what volume is is it, it will show you the amount of contracts filled or positions filled or orders filled depending on what market you're looking at if it's spot or derivatives um, it, it allows you to know how much money has been transacted at a certain price and you can look at that and then look at the candle and, and make some very good judgments based off of that and you can look at market structure and it just allows you to create like a, a, a full 3D picture of what's going on. I often say that people just play sn a snake with price action. They, they don't understand which candles are important. And volume helps you determine that. 
okay? It allows you to know when uh, everybody else is entering the market and that can allow you to know what, what the stakes are, okay? It's similar to a poker game where somebody shoves all their cheap chips on the table or, or whatever. I don't play poker, but I've seen the movies and stuff like that and the stakes are higher when there's more chips on the table, okay? So think of it like that, and that's kind of why I put this Bitcoin chip on here. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, pause this, and I'm gonna go into a, a screen sharing thing on Exocharts, and we'll just do some like basic volume, like analysis, I guess. Okay. So uh, hold on one second. Okay, here we are, and I have definitely taken some things off of my chart here. This is not how I use Exocharts all the time, um, but like I said earlier. I'm not in the business of giving away my secrets that it took me years to learn. So I'm just doing some basic things here and you can add this to your arsenal, okay? So we have here, just in the uh, the footprint bar statistics tab, we only have the high volume or the, 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 the volume here. And the darker ones are when more volume enters the market. So if you're not looking at this, you know, and you're just looking at, uh, the candles only you're gonna have a lot harder time determining where the important parts in the market are you're just gonna see the candles let's even take the uh, Delta cluster off you're gonna see the candles and they're not gonna give you as full of a picture right you can look at the wicks and see okay there's probably some volume that came in but the the the, the amount of detail and the clarification that knowing when people are taking positions can give you is you can't you can't really put a price on it so you know with your high volume nodes you can see where the most mo where the most money came into the market and volatility when you see candles coming in like major volatile candles with big percentage moves that attracts volatility um, that attracts people to enter the market because speculators see volatility they get excited and they press the red or green button you know and that's not necessarily a good thing because we know that most people lose right so um, just think about that and and you can open up uh, this is moving on here I guess you can open up your footprint bar statistics uh, here and then you can set it up in a way that highlights the heavier volumes and it's all customizable by the way so this is how I do it but in and, and uh, this is what I was looking at during this part of the market. I was looking at this area as being very important, and I, I'm not really gonna go over why or how I traded it because, like I said, I'm sorry to keep repeating this, but there's a lot of trick. You know, there's a lot of tricks to this, and you can't really just give this shit away. So, but but just add this stuff to your arsenal, and maybe it'll fill in a piece for you, uh, a piece of the puzzle here. So, also, this was a very important part of the market. Um, we got a lot of people who entered right here, right here. And we got a lot of people who entered right here, okay? And, you know, you can determine whether those were good or bad moves for those people. But at the end of the day, um, this provides a 3D photo. So we know the most important parts are here, here, and here, okay? So just take that and uh, think about it and if you need clarification on why these things are important and you, you don't put the pieces together yourself I don't expect everybody to um, you know join the telegram ask some people get involved um, it, yeah it's uh, it's very important to know when orders are being filled because it allows you to make the right decisions based on those current market conditions Start paying attention to volume, start painting a 3D picture in your mind, and also, um, you know, just practice and see, watch what happens when high volume enters the market. All right, and I know this video wasn't very long, but I think it's got some very important information in it, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time, and thank you for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Y'all take care.